Hello, my lovely more thoughts. Welcome back to my channel. It's Morgan here, back with another video. So today I am bringing you guys a CC school episode. Welcome to Morbid's CC school. So I am going to be teaching you guys today how to merge your custom content. Now this is something that I definitely think you should do if you have a lot of custom content. Your PC might not be the best at handling so much custom content or you're noticing that your Sims is very laggy or it's starting to get laggy. It could be due to like so many files that you have this will just kind of help things run smoother at least this is something that I found to be true when I had my older PC my sims started to definitely lag I had a lot a lot of custom content and once I merged it all together it just ran a lot smoother so some of you might not know what merging is and merging is basically taking a lot of files and condensing it to one file so I'm gonna be teaching you guys how to do that today and that's gonna help your sims when it loads up instead of loading all those crazy files you have in there it's just gonna be loading up less of them yeah you'll see you'll see it works a lot better so first things first that I want you guys to do is keep in mind that this is gonna be a process this is gonna take a while so I already have an episode on how to organize your custom content the right way so I'll leave it linked so I will leave that video linked up up here for you guys to check out that alone is gonna be a process this alone is gonna be a process keep that in mind next thing that I want you guys to do is download sims 4 studios you're gonna need this if you already have this that's great if you don't then I want to download it I will leave all those things linked down below in the description for you guys so don't you worry if you don't know how to download sims 4 studios you might want to look into a different video because I'm not gonna show you guys how to do that now that you've downloaded Sims 4 Studios and you have it open it, it's installed, have it ready. Also, if you organized your CC, also have that ready. I have mine to open right here. These are all my CC and mod put together. So all the ones labeled with a zero are all my custom content. These are all folders that have items that are not merged at all. Like all these are just their own separate file and they definitely need to go into their own merged like package file so i'm gonna show you how to do that it is not complex at all like i said before the only thing it's going to be is time consuming so when you go into sims 4 studio open it up you're going to want to go to content management then you're going to want to go to merge packages now that you have this open what you're gonna wanna do is just gather and select a few items. I find that for hairs, at least alpha hairs, because I do have alpha hairs, I don't know too much about Max's match hairs, but they tend to be very, very large files. So you can't just drop, you just can't collect all of your custom content and drop it in there and then just create one file. That's not how this works. It only holds up to a certain amount, so, I like to add in maybe 75 to 100 hairs at a time because alpha hairs tend to be very, it just tends to be a lot. So, you know, this one kind of looks like a lot. So I'm just gonna put in 75 at a time and then I'm gonna hit merge. It's gonna open this up and I'm gonna drop all my hairs in my mods folder in the hair section and I'm gonna label this hair package one. And so it is currently merging all those hairs for me into that one file. So it didn't do all of them. See, this is what I tell you about alpha hairs. So all of those didn't merge, right? So I'm gonna actually go back in and select maybe 60 items in here. So I think it can't go past maybe like two gigabytes so i'm gonna stop at like maybe 66 and try that out because it does tell you the ones that it failed to merge but i find that to be a little bit trickier to just go in and find the ones that it didn't do rather than just restarting over again if that makes sense so i'm gonna try this again by the way i deleted the last one so i deleted the last package file we just made so again same name doing this all over again okay so I I really think it has to be under two gigabytes worth of stuff 
and it didn't it failed to merge one hair which is the Salem hair so I'm just gonna look for it there it is and I'm gonna press control so it unselects that one and what I'm gonna do which is a little scary I know but I'm gonna go ahead and delete them because I don't need them they're already in this one package file. You can see it right here. This is a hair package one. Now I know that might be a little scary, but I promise you, you can get those hairs back individually. So if we go back to Sims 4 Studios, go to content management and do unmerge package, you're gonna go back into your mods folder. I'm gonna go into my hair CC folder and I'm gonna look for I know it's called hair package one, so I'm just gonna type it in here. Hair package one, and I'm gonna press open, then hit unmerge, and it has officially gone in and unmerged everything that I just did. So this, it went and separated it and put it here. And you can send that to wherever. I happen to send it into my stuff CC, which is wrong, but, and then you could go ahead and then delete this one because it's still gonna be there. So just remember that, you know, hair package one is still here, but it emerged it somewhere else. So there you have it. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and keep this because I've already done one. So let me just go ahead and keep that one. And then I'm gonna delete this hair package file. So from here on out, you're just gonna repeat that process over and over again. So I'm gonna select the next under two gigabytes, because I think that's the cap, um, under two gigabytes. And it tells you right as you're selecting them how much how much uh, you're actually grabbing. So I grabbed 1.9, so hopefully that's enough. And I'm gonna merge these next files and I'm gonna call it hair package two, because it's gonna hold the next set and it's gonna merge them for me. Hopefully it grabs all of them and it merged all 57. So this was a big, big file for hairs. A lot of these are probably just huge, man. So I'm gonna delete these, because I've merged them. And do you see now, like, once you finish all of this and you merge all of these, like, I'm, I'm just guessing here, you guys have a lot of custom content. Once you finish merging all these files, you're only gonna have a couple of merged CC. So when you load up your game, it's not going to be so strenuous. It's not going to be loading up every single little file. And then now it's just going to load up the big files. Um, so it's going to be a quicker process. At least that's what I found when I was using my old PC that this helped a lot. And I feel like it's going to help me now, even though I have a much better computer, it's still going to help. So I'm gonna go ahead and finish this all up. I gotta go through every single one of these folders. That's why I say that's why I say that it's gonna be very consuming, cause this is just hairs, and I'm not even close to being done, right? There's like a thousand four hundred and ninety-nine items in the hair folder alone, let alone like other stuff. It's gonna take some time. So be wary, I've warned you, um, but this is a good thing to do. So I think just take your time with it. I mean, it could just be like a project. Eventually you'll get it done. And I hope, hope, hope that this helps your game load up a lot faster and, and help your Sims game in general, not to be so glitchy if you have so much damn ZC like I do. So that's all that I have for this video. I hope you found it very helpful. Give it a like if you did find it helpful. Subscribe if you're not subscribed. Also, what you doing? Like, join the fam and hit that notification bell so you know when I post my next video. All right, happy simming, everyone. Catch you in my next one.